got a little story for you. Today, I think I'm going to help our friend Brian Crescenzo. He is a grandfather and he is taking care of his grandson Rufina. who, I don't know, I think it's some sort of autism. I'll ask Brian though, some sort of autism or, or um, but I can't really think of it. It enables, unenables, enables him not to be able to work because he's got to take care of grandson so much it's like 24 7 except for when he's in school so Brian's been really hurting he's been hurting for money and uh, he's actually living in his uh, camper van um, he can't afford a place he's been trying to do a GoFundMe um, and I think it's he's just struggling financially and uh, and, and not able to um, have the time to both work and take care of his, his uh, grandson, Michael. Uh, if you can help out in any way, I'm going to introduce you to Brian today, uh, introduce you to his story, and if you, uh, if you feel in your heart the need to, uh, to help out, definitely message me. Uh, you have my email, Courtney at papersailor.com. Um, we can set up a donation thing, as well as uh, uh, Brian's GoFundMe account which I have to remember to put links down and I always forget. Uh, so Brian, if you're watching, go ahead and uh, put your GoFundMe account on this uh, YouTube channel. This table is finally ready to spray. Okay. This is Brian. Howdy. <laughs> My didgeridoos are coming. Yay. Line. Yep. And, so uh, he does make didgeridoos. And yep. it looks like it's, what is that, pine or uh, oak This is or? all Florida salvage cypress. Wow. Yeah. These are, these are sweet. These have to get finished up. Yeah. And uh, this one's already got probably one coat. I can tell it needs another coat or two. Yeah, probably. Yeah. But, right. um. This is probably just the sanding sealer that's on it. Yeah. Anyway, nice. plenty of products in here. To, like, um... So we're going through his storage right now. Yeah. And I've, I told the story kind of about uh, Michael and you just did? about your situation and okay. also your GoFundMe. Do you still have a GoFundMe? No, but I was kind of looking to start one up to help us get with our, our next move. Yeah. Because uh, things are kind of tight. But um, He also sells these didgeridoos, so if anyone is interested, It's uh, right? Bentwood Didgeridoos on Facebook. Yeah, So and he's also looking to sell a bunch of stuff, so we are just going to go through yep. and, and see what, what he wants to keep, what he wants to sell. He does eventually want to get a house, so a lot of this is stuff that he's obviously going to want to keep for his house. But he does have a few things that he would like to make a little money off of, so that's what we're doing is going to go through his storage and... Um, See what we can sell and what to keep and what to organize. So have to make some money. Nice. You know you can you can like. Where are you gonna go? It's a great decoration. And These then like, when I did it like this, I composed a picture where it was like there is a. Perfect. So the name of the thing is Would I Not. <laughs> So Pete is going to drill two uh, diamonds in the top of this door. And we tried to make the drill press work, but I think this bit is too big for that drill press. I think it was just just a little too much for it. So it would just kept breaking up. Yeah. Yeah. But the chuck keeps coming out every time we try to use it. So we're going to have to figure something else out. Is it going on? Yeah, sure was. Plan B. <laughs> it's supposed to be easy. We had a 
customer come in, and he laid on the table saw and fell asleep on our table saw. <laughs> You're gonna paint it, but you might as well make it nice. Oh, look at that! Wow! Wow! I mean, even so, you still have to sand that in order to get it flat, yeah. so no matter what. You're... <laughs> All right, yeah. the land yacht and the water yacht.